Hi, so now that you're starting to get a lot of work that you're going to want to keep until next class, I'm going to show you how you're going to store your work to keep it safe and ready to go for your next class. So I've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take this plate and I'm going to put one dry paper towel down on it. I've got my clay tile and I'm just going to very carefully lay it flat here. I'm going to make sure that it is smoothed out and looking the way I want it to, like that. And then I'm going to take any pieces or any components, like I started this tree today and I don't have time to finish it, so I'm going to just lay it beside my tile here. I'm going to lay this little piece over here beside my tile here. I'm laying all of my components around my tile I don't want them to put them I don't want to put them directly onto here because what will happen is they could stick here to the tile um, in the wrong place and end up being in a place where I don't want them to be and then when I go to remove them I could end up damaging my work so I'm gonna set them beside here and here and if I run out of space I can put another dry towel on top of this and very carefully lay my pieces flat there and this paper towel will keep them from sticking together. So I don't have too much stuff today though, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to then place another paper towel on top and I'm going to give it a spritz with water. I know this is water because it says water. I also know it's water because it has either a blue or a gray end. And I'm giving it enough water to just dampen it. I don't want to drench it, but I want the clay to be able to draw water out of that paper towel. Um, I know this is water bottle. We also have these sanitizing bottles. The sanitizers say sanitizer, and most of them have a red tip. Um, so if your bottle that you grab says sanitizer, don't spray it on your clay. This is for the tables. All right. So my project is here. If I were to put it on the shelf like this, it would dry out before next class. So I am going to very carefully and gently slip it into a bag here like this. Then I'm going to, if I wanted to, if I was worried about it drying, I could give it a couple little squirts. And then I'm gonna push the air out, close the bag up, and then I'm gonna tuck this under like that. Now, everyone's is gonna look exactly the same if I go and put these away like this, and I don't want them to, so I'm actually gonna take a piece of masking tape and a Sharpie, so the Sharpies are here on the desk. The masking tape is over here in this little rainbow cabinet, and I'm gonna make a name tag that just has my first name and my last initial on it. So that way when I put it away, it's not going to get confused with everyone else's. Once my work gets put away, I'm going to go back to following our cleanup steps, which are written on the board here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up all my tools, and I'm going to put my tools away. And I've got a lot of tools out today. I've got this slip that I need to put the cap back on, and I'm going to go put all this stuff away. I'm putting it all back in the correct place, and if there's like a huge amount of clay on one of my things like this I wouldn't put it back like this I would pull the clay off and recycle that please don't wash these tools in the sink because what ends up happening is let's pretend there's a whole bunch of clay here on this needle tool and I brought this to the sink and I washed it this clay would go down the drain and it would clog the drain so remove excess clay you don't have to wash the tool as long as you get most of the clay off and you put them away Boop, magic, mine are all put away. Then I'd put away my canvas blanket. I would put away any extra clay stuff that I don't want to keep, make it into a ball, put it over into Peter the Pug Mill, who's back over there. Hey, Pete So put that away. And then I would scrape excess clay into my hand, throw it in the garbage wipe with a sponge, wipe with a baby wipe, sweep the floor, and then wash my hands as if my life depended on it. Um, I hope you all have a really fun time. Enjoy.